Can you solve this my challenge? Here's the question. Solve for the value of x given the 2 raised to x plus 2 raised to negative x equals 2. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. So, our goal is to solve for the value of x, real value of x, given this equation 2 raised to x plus 2 raised to negative x equals 2. Now, there's a lot of way to answer this question, and here are some strategies. The first one is we can use pure algebra, and the second one is we can use the AMGM inequality in this question. So let's first use the pure algebra approach. Now, take note that if we have b raised to negative n, it is equivalent to 1 over b raised to the power of n. Therefore, these 2 raised to negative x can be written as 1 over 2 raised to x. Now, we have two terms that is common. We have 2 raised to x and 2 raised to x. So let's replace this by another variable and let's call this as a. Therefore, all 2 raised to x can be replaced with a. Now, let's multiply both sides by a to cancel out this denominator a. If we do that, we get a squared plus 1 equals 2 times a. Now, subtract 2a on both sides. This will give us a squared minus 2a plus 1 equals to 0. And now, take note that a squared minus 2a plus 1 is factorable, and this can be factored as follows. We have a minus 1 quantity squared. If we expand this, of course, we will have a squared minus 2a plus 1. But let's have the factored form. Now let's solve for the value of a. Let's get the square root on both sides. Now square root of 0 is just 0. And square root of a minus 1 quantity squared is just a minus 1. Now add 1 on both sides, we get that the value of a must be equal to 1. And take note that a is also equal to 2 raised to x. So we can set that 2 raised to x must be equal to just 1. Now, recall that b raised to 0 equals 1 provided that b is not equal to 0. And since 2 is not equal to 0, this 1 can be replaced by 2 raised to 0. Now, we have equal expression on both sides and have same base. Therefore, their exponent must be the same. So, we can say that x must be equal to 0. Therefore, using our first strategy to answer this question, pure algebra, we get that the answer must be equal to 0. Now, let's have the second strategy, which is the AMGM inequality. Now, according to AMGM inequality, the arithmetic mean of two positive numbers must be greater than or equal to its geometric mean. Now, take note that when the left-hand side and the right-hand side becomes the same or equal, it only follows that a must be equal to b. So we will use this concept to answer this question. Now, on our equation, a must be 2 raised to x and b must be equal to 1 over 2 raised to x. So let's replace a with 2 raised to x and b with 1 over 2 raised to x. So we have something like this. Now, we know the value of 2 raised to x plus 1 over 2 raised to x. This is just 2. And 2 over 2 is just 1. Now, 2 raised to x times 1 over 2 raised to x. This is just 1 also. And the square root of 1 is just 1. Therefore, the left-hand side and the right-hand side is equal. It only follows that 2 raised to x must be equal to 1 over 2 raised to x. Or a must be equal to b. And now, we can now solve for the value of x. There are many ways, again, to solve this equation. But take note that the right-hand side can be written as 2 raised to negative x. Now, the same base, and they are equal, therefore, their exponent must be the same. So, we can say that x must be equal to negative x. Now, we have x equals negative x. And the only real number that satisfies this equation must be if x equals 0. Therefore, using two strategies to answer this question, and we get the same answer, and our answer to this question must be x equals 0. And 
as always we are done